Right, shalom, shalom. Shalom. All right, giving all praises, all glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, All right, double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone over well. And peace and salutations to all you Akim out there preaching this truth throughout the four corners of the earth with truth and sincerity in your hearts. All right, and for the love of the gospel. Um, this is Brother Shamar Yah. Brother Yaiqua. Uh, we come to you from Great Millstone, Gary, Indiana branch, like I said before. And we uh, got um, Jeremiah 17 right here. Just going to go read through it and got some precepts, man. All right, speaking to these Israelites out here that, you know, that uh, that don't want to get right, you know, the Lord said, um, well, we're gonna say we're gonna read what the Lord said. All right, you can go start, go start up, start it, uh, start it one up. Okay, this is Jeremiah seventeen and verse one. Mm -hmm. It says, "The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron, mm -hmm. and with the point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars." Kind of those altars are. A representation of idols because back in the days of Jeremiah they actually used to have altars for uh, di different deities or idols all right they had different altars altars for these people for these for these false gods you know ima imaginations basically you know the Lord is actually living power you know mm -hmm. the Lord lives but these idols don't mm -hmm. you know but they said their sin is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond on their hearts, man. Like, you can't take it away. It's permanent. Mm -hmm. It's etched you know in. It's etched in. You know? And that's how adamant they were for the, for these idols. You know, they, they'll serve the, they'll, they'll pretend to, they pretend that they serve the Lord amongst people, but in secret, they'll be worshiping idols. You know? Um, you go to that. God, it says, Jeremiah 17, 17 and 2. Whilst their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills. Mm -hmm. It says, O my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil. To the spoil, man. You know, in the days of Jeremiah, what happened, man? The, uh, the Babylonians came upon them, you know, and conquered them. But now, prophetically speaking, what happened? Uh, we go, um, and, um, sorry. Kind of a brain fart. Deuteronomy twenty and sixty eight. You know the slave shit, the slave uh, transatlantic slave trade. Mm -hmm. Israel suffered uh, the falling away from our heritage. All right, fell away from our fell away from our heritage. You know, so the Lord did give us uh, over. He gave he gave uh, our substance and treasures to the spoil, man. We were, we were we were a booty. You know, spoil. Go ahead. And thy high places for sin throughout all thy borders. Uh, the high places was those places that they go to worship those idols. You know, mm -hmm. it says, actually, if I may, uh, well, I'll just read down mm -hmm. uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. God, that it gave thee. The Lord gave us a heritage to follow. Israel chose not to follow it. So the Lord, the Lord made us fall away from the heritage that they gave us, man. You know, because of our disobedience. You know, now the prophets always wanted to do right. You know, always wanted to do righteously. But we had to suffer as a nation. Are right, you understand? So the Lord had us um, discontinue from our heritage by way of transatlantic slave ships, man. Mm -hmm. You know, no, we're gonna we're gonna get that and do it early too. Go ahead. Up. It says, "And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not." See, the Lord is gonna cause us to serve our enemies, and that's what we're doing now. Fast forward to the present time, the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native Americans are here serving their enemies, serving their oppressors, man. And now in this time, you got the two thirds that love doing it. They love serving their presence, man. They love being of, at, of their father, the devil, man. You know, they love to have it so. They love to have it so, man. Go ahead. It says, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Uh, and and, and if, if forever, it's not literally forever, but it's a very long time. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's jump to the Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Because the Lord said what? He said, uh, I shall cause... It said, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. And mm -hmm. this is by way of... Because <clears throat> every other captivity that we were in, because there's been many captivities, man. Mm -hmm. Just read the book of Judges. Okay. You know, read the book of Judges, and it'll, it'll show you vividly how many captivities was in. Captivity after captivity after captivity. Jake never learned their lesson, man. You know, Israelites never learned their lesson. They're always worshiping idols. You know, even in... It was a captivity in Judges. All right, you have to... And then before that... You have the captivity in uh, in Egypt. 
You know what I'm saying? And then after they got out of Egypt, they said, what, what did they do? Worship idols. Mm-hmm. You know? When Moses went up to Mount Sinai, they worship idols, man. You know, they made the golden calf. And they got to the land. They worship idols. And days of, and fast forward to days of Isaiah, days of uh, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, all the prophets, man. Hosea, they was worshiping idols. So the Lord said, you know what, man? <laughs> Basically, right. I'm going I'm to... Uh, I'm going to take my name from y'all so y'all can't call upon me no more. You know, it's like a father, your son keep going to jail time and time again. You bailing him out. Mm-hmm. And then you, the father finally changed his phone number so he can't contact him. So you got to sit in jail. All right. All right, go ahead. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord, Yahweh, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Mm-hmm. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh-huh. thou shalt see it no more again. God, the Lord's going to bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right. So we came into, we came in, we came out of Egypt to, in, to, to the land, to promised land on foot. Right. But this Lord, the Lord said, we're going to bring you again to Egypt with ships. So again with ships. Mm-hmm. So it can't literally be talking about actually Egypt. It has to be, it has to mean something else. So we have to go into the word Egypt. All right. So we have a uh, app, the blue letter app, go to the blue letter. Turn my airplane mode off. Hope I'll get my phone calls. Um, Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight. Uh, I got it here. Got it. It might not actually uh. So bring thee again into Egypt. So we we're in Egypt a second time. All right, go ahead. This is uh in the blue letter. Mm-hmm. Uh H forty seven fourteen. It goes into t- the transliteration, Mizraim. Mm-hmm. Mizraim. Yeah, Mizraim. Mm-hmm. Um, and it says, uh, Egypt, land of the cops. Uh, go down. It says Egyptians equals. Double straights. Double straights, man. Double straights. So we, we're gonna we're gonna suffer what we suffered in Egypt. Double, double fold. All right, twofold. And it said too. Um, if I may grab it real quick. Cause you got the literal Egypt, and then the Lord said, "I'm gonna bring you in Egypt again with ships." That's a prophecy, man. That's a major prophecy. You know that happened. That actually happened. We were we were stacked like sardines on slave cargo ships. And it was it was all Israel, man. It was all it was the so called Negroes, the so called Latinos, and it was the so called Native Americans. They were all on them slave ships. Mm-hmm. You just had different um, stops, essentially. Different stops and different times. Yeah. You know, and then different different conquerors. Mm-hmm. You know, they were all Edom. You know, because um, you know, yeah, like the guy was the guy was speaking uh, the, the interview he was watching before. That's I sent you on TikTok. He was having an interview. He said, uh, "Oh, con." The Latin, the Latin Americans, they went. They went to Greek. Uh, they went to uh, Greek. The Grecians, you know, the Greeks, because it was Latin. They in Greek. They speak Latin. But then they and uh, the Spaniards. They called them Hispanic. Hispanic. Yep. You know, went to Spain. You know what I'm saying? Then uh, the Native Americans was in uh, in, in, in slave in um, chains too, because uh, Christopher Columbus. You know, and after they got that land, where did they go? They went to Africa. So uh, we all. All Israelites was in, in, in captivity, man. And mm-hmm. the Lord did this purposely because they kept going off. They kept time and time and time again going off. Mm-hmm. I got a uh, quick one. Just uh, really the point being uh, what Egypt is, Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Mm-hmm. It really, I just did a word search, house of bondage. Because essentially that's what Egypt is. The, he was going to bring us again into what? Uh, captivity, basically. Mm-hmm. Deuteronomy 5 and 6, it says, I am the Lord thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Exactly, from the house of bondage. And we right back in the house of bondage. But the Lord is coming again. Yeah. So bring us back out, man. We can get that precept later. Uh, let's go back to the Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Let's read that up from the top. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68 says, And the Lord, Yahweh, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. So we're going to go a, a second time into Egypt with ships. So that was the transatlantic slave trade. Now, now that, that Egypt is what? Slavery. Double straits, house of bondage. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. And, when, and we're still slaves to this day. You know, we're with your tributaries. 
where it's not as it's not as harsh punishment as it is was it back then, but nonetheless it's still bondage. We're still underneath this this devil's foot. Mm-hmm. You know, he gives little he gives certain Jake little trinkets. You get a million. You get a million. You get a million. So Drake comfortable in Babylon, man. He said he says, oh, I can do what my oppressor can do. Uh, we're equal now. It's, uh, it's equal opportunity for everybody. Right. But you're still not serving the Lord. You're still serving these dumb idols. Whether these idols be what? Whether it be money, mm-hmm. you know, the things that money can buy. Whether it be women. Whether it be yourself. Yeah. Because these people, idols nowadays, is their own belly. Their own belly. And then for the for poor Jake, it's these celebrities. You know? Say Instagram for the women. Instagram, <laughs> they, they worship their they bodies, you know? And that word worship just means reverence, man. Whatever you're reverencing is more than you. How about show me how shy you're worshiping? You know? God. It says, uh, slack you. It says, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. See, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, which are slaves. And no man shall buy you. When you go to the word buy, it means redeem. Mm-hmm. So no, no man is going to redeem you from this house of bondage. All right? And any, anytime Jake try to get on, try to come up on his own above Esau, it, the Lord always shut that down, man. The Lord finds a way to shut it down. You know, let's go back to that Jeremiah 17. And that's the, this is the, this is a uh, precept of how we fell away from my heritage, man. All right, and let's uh, get another piece of it. Let's get the second one. That's one too. Can I come with the following way first? Uh, there's two and three. Okay. Uh, this is Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Mm-hmm. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. See, that day, which was which is, what day is that? The return of... <coughs> <clears throat> the return, all right, of our Lord. Yep. So the return of our Lord is they can't come unless there's a falling away first. Falling away from what? Israelites falling away from their their um they're not knowing that they're Israelites. All right, stripping them of their nationality. All right. That they can't come unless a falling away happens first. And go ahead. Mm-hmm. Also going into the uh, seventy AD. Seventy AD, yep. God, when uh you know, basically, uh, the, the siege of Jerusalem. The siege of Jerusalem, yeah. It the says, God, it says, And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, mm-hmm. or that is worshipped, so that he as power, <clears throat> so, like, so, the, so that he as God, or power, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. God. You know, that's the that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's oppressive word. That's his oppressor that, that he has this, this devil that got his foot on our neck, man. He he exalted himself as God. He had he, he can he can um he's telling people that oh you don't have to be this and you don't have to be that. You can change. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> you can change yourself. If you don't like yourself, you can change yourself. You can alter your body. You know what I'm saying? You can alter the way you think. You can do what you want to do. Yeah, you can worship who you want to worship. You can worship who you want to worship, eat what you want to eat, drink what you want to drink, and and and, 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 and of course who you want to intercourse, man. And it, and it doesn't even matter who. It's a thing. They, they have intercourse with, with things like can, animals, man. Mm-hmm. That's legal in some states. That's that's totally, totally backwards, man. You know? But that was just an example of uh, we have to discontinue from our heritage, which back then, it's in the time of Thessalonians, we were, in cap, we were under uh, Roman occupation. Mm-hmm. We was under the cap, we was in captivity by Rome, you know? But at least we did. The Israel knew that they're Israelites. They mm-hmm. knew they were Hebrews. They knew about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was their fathers. Now in this current captivity, our our identity is stolen from us, and they gave us another name. Mm-hmm. So now we over thinking that we're Ham. <laughs> they got to God, think that they God. Ham, man. You know, we all thought we was Ham or yeah. Spaniards. Right. You know. Yeah, they still have it today to where. Um you know, so-called Mexicans or, um, hell, just the Northern Kingdom tribes, period, the Spanish-speaking tribes, mm-hmm. they they look at you some type of way if you don't speak fluent Spanish. Yeah. You know, because they, they feel as if... <laughs> they're pride. Yeah, that they're pride and they're, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the basically the oppressor beating it in them yep. now got them to where they think, like, you know, they they uh, they, they want to discredit you or disown you. Right. 
Ephraim proud as fuck when Rara Rara played damn flags. Yeah, especially the the flag and and every everything that uh Issa ah uh, Issa <laughs> that Esau wants us to go by, you know, they eat it up. You know, like the the scriptures say, Ephraim is joined unto idols. Right? So and Esau Edom being the the accuser of the brethren, and he forwarded the affliction, you know. Um Essentially, man, he 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 puts it, uh, 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 or he makes it hard for Jake to uh, to not know their history. Oh yeah, absolutely. He purposely he purposely hides it, man. Mm -hmm. Then he, he then he creates the curriculum for this for this nation for this nation's learning. He creates the, he, he he creates the curriculum for them to learn, man. He don't he don't teach Jake how to get ahead or mm -hmm. teach Jake how to make money. He teach him how to be loyal slaves, loyal workers. In the workforce, that's what high school is about. High school is teach you the curriculum, teach mm -hmm. you his his, his, his story, history, his story. <laughs> yeah, his story. You know, yeah, civilization started with the Roman man. Get the fuck out with the Greeks. Get the hell out of here, man. I think he said Rome. Civilization started mm -hmm. with Rome. Mm -hmm. Civilization started way before. Civilization was in the, in when the Lord created Eden. That was civilization. Mm -hmm. So the Big it's Bang. A, he tried to discredit the Lord. Just a liar. Yeah. yeah, just a liar, man. Kind of. Let me jump back to this, uh, Jeremiah. He try to purposely hide our history, man, because he he wants, he really, ultimately, it's another lesson for another time, mm -hmm. but ultimately, he want that birthright back, man. No. Yeah. He want that same birthright that he sold, he sold to Jacob, which is our forefather. You know, he sold to Jacob for, 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 for some uncooked meat, half-cooked meat, all right? For some, for some veal. Mm -hmm. Venison. Venison, Venison. God. Um, red pottage. Red porridge, man. Go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah seven. I'll start back at four. Seventeen and four. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Kind of that the land that thou knowest not, man. All right, we didn't know these lands. You know, at the time we didn't know these lands. You no, know, you think it's by thou be it ships. And certain we serving him in in the land that we didn't know. Go ahead. It says, "For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever." Can we jump to uh, Psalms eighty three? Okay, I got one too. Okay. Uh, eighty three and one. Yep. Okay, this is Psalm eighty three and one. Mm -hmm. It says, "A song or a psalm of Asaph. Mm -hmm. Keep not thou silence, O power." Mm -hmm. Hold not thy peace and be not still. Tell him to come deliver us, Baba Kusha. You know. Mm -hmm. right. O power, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Mm -hmm. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. That's right, man. Go ahead. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Let them cut them off from being a nation, man. That's them taking our identity and claiming, them, claiming our identity for themselves. Go ahead. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. See, let the name of Israel be no more remembrance, you know. But for they have consulted together with one consent; they are confederate against thee. That's right, brought together. Go ahead. The tabernacles of Edom. See, Edom was the first one listed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And who's next? And the Ishmaelites. You know, dirty sand rats, man. <laughs> dirty sand rats, man. You got the you got the gutter rats, and you got the sand rats. God. First one and the second one, man. Go ahead. It says of Moab. Then you got the gooks. You know them, them, them slight, them slit eyed gooks. Go ahead. And the uh, Hagarines. All right, now let's, let's stop there. But uh, they, they they came together and said they just cut these people off from being a nation, man. That they'd be no more remembered. Mm -hmm. That goes into us fall away from our heritage, man. They was all confederated with, with each other, you know. Edom being at, at the top. Let's get back to Jeremiah. Uh, I had a, a quick pre if I may. Um, cause I was just gonna um make mention because it said that we were going to discontinue from our heritage and that was including us those that now have woken up to the fact that we're israelites yeah. you know but it's all prophecy because it said uh in baruch that we were going to wake up to this knowledge you know and it's all through the, the grace and mercy of yahweh bashim yahweh shai right. that we know who we are now and it's, it's ultimately prof uh, uh prophecy coming to pass this is uh baruch um what was it Oh, four. There might be two. Salaki. Uh, Baruch, Baruch. 
Con, this is it. Uh, two and thirty. Thirty. Gotcha. It says, "For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves." In the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. See, and this is this is what's happening, man. We're following the breadcrumbs back to our identity, and it started in the sixties, man. Mm -hmm. You know. It says, and, and shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. See, you got to have ears to hear this, man. And a heart to un and a mind to understand. Yeah. It says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. That's how you know we got the name of the Lord. You know? <laughs> in a way, like, oh, we ain't got the name. And the Lord said we're going to think upon his name. You know? It says, in return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before the Lord. See? And yes, we remember the ways of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our, our, the patriarchs, you know? And all, and all the other right, and all the righteous men that's written, written in the scriptures, New and Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Started with Yahweh Shai. You know? The Arthur of our faith. That was it. Uh, I'll just read down, mm -hmm. finish it out. It says, and I will bring them again into the land, which I promised an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, yep. and they shall be lords of it. Mm -hmm. And I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. Uh -huh. All right. Cause like I said, uh, we're of the sands of the sea, That's right. you know, and then he's going to increase us and we're not going to be diminished. We're never going to die again. He's going to mm -hmm. give us eternal life. It says, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power. And they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. That's right. Why? Because he, he promised it. He promised it unto us, right? To Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, mm -hmm. you know, and the, and the generations following after. You're going to hold up the bargain. You're going to hold up the end of the bargain. God. That was it? Yeah, that was it. Jeremiah 17, 5. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and verse 5, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed or cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, mm -hmm. and whose heart departed from the most high See, earth the Lord. Don't people that serve in them idols, man. You know, they when they when, when they idol fail them, what they were they gonna, they gonna run to uh, the heathens for help, man. You mm -hmm. know. It's actually in the book of Kings where a king actually went to Egypt for help, you know, the heathen, and the heathen put his ass in jail. You know what I'm saying? And curse be the man that trusted in man and make a flesh his arm. Arm is something uh, you protect your, you protect yourself with. Mm -hmm. Are you armed? You know, you know, making flesh his uh his his weapon of defense. But we make the Lord our defense. Go ahead. It says in whose heart, uh, Salaki, verse six. It says for he shall be like the heath in the desert. That's right, the heath in the desert, man. You know, dry. More, uh, the dead. <laughs> it says, and shall not see when good cometh, mm -hmm. but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness. Yep, no, no water. Okay. In a salt land and not inhabited. God, don't be in the wilderness, man. Dry. No spirit. Go ahead. If I may grab in the NLT, it says, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 6 in the NLT, they are like stunted shrubs in the desert with no hope for the future. Stunted <laughs> I was about to say the heath is a little tumbleweed. Be <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the spirit. Like, and the cut scenes in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you, cause you think their hope is uh, is something uh, that could perish. It's not, it's not a, real. It's not real. It's not a true living God. Yeah. You know, so there's going to be no hope for them. So when that God feeling, they, they go run to, they run to the heath and make a flesh their arm. Or they, they make themselves they are. Some people trust in themselves, mm -hmm. you know, their ability, you know, especially them vets. It says they will live in the barren wilderness in an uninhabited salty land. <laughs> Damn. So basically no hope. No hope. Where there's no vision, people the people perish. Yeah. It says uh, back in the KJV, Jeremiah 17 and 7, blessed is a man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Mm -hmm. So it gives you the the balance. No. It says, "For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, mm -hmm. and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit." See, hey, Lord, we we care about the Lord, man. We gonna we gonna be a tree planted by the rivers of the water. You know, who will forsake that? You know, you buy water, you got life. 
Uh-huh. You know, you got trees, you got fishes, then you got animals that come and drink. You know, water's representation of wealth. You know what I'm saying? So it's wealthy to, to come and serve the Lord. You understand? So the Jake, Jake was uh, worshiping idols. He punishes as a nation, but this time the Lord will come back and deliver those that want to serve him and, and punish all those who didn't want to serve him. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be punished as a nation no more. You understand? We're going to be that tree planted by the water, but everyone who don't want to serve the Lord, they're going to be like the, the tumbleweed in the desert, man. <laughs> you know, just dry, breathless, you know? Dry as hell. You, was, uh, that, you locked up on nine? Yeah, or eight. Uh, eight, uh, jump to uh, seven, 16, 15. Okay. You can close up with this if you ain't got nothing. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 15? 16, 15. 16. Oh, Jeremiah 16. 16, 15. Con. Jeremiah 16, uh, uh, 16 14. Con. Jeremiah 16 and 14. Con. It says, uh, so like, therefore, the Lord going to come and deliver us, man. Mm -hmm. the Lord going to come and deliver his elect. He said, uh, I had 7,000 men that should not bow to either to the all. You know, so the Lord not going to punish us with the two thirds no more. The two thirds is the ones that may flesh their arm and trust in their, in their idols. But the elect is the ones that's going to be planted by that tree, you know, but by the rivers of water. Yeah. It says, Jeremiah 16 and 14, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, mm -hmm. and from all the lands whither he had driven them. The land of the north. Now, where is that at, man? Tell me where <laughs> the land of the north is. That's why, that's why it's so uh, important to know that uh, only Babylon is going to be burnt with fire. You know what I'm saying? Only Babylon's going to be wearing fire, and the, and the two-thirds are going to die here in Babylon by the lake of fire. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to come deliver the, the uh, one-third of Israel out of the north country. Go ahead. Yep. And then also, it said, uh, from all the lands where the, he had driven them, because you have <laughs> you have your elect across the four corners of the earth. First four, across the four corners of the earth. Like it tells you in uh, Matthew 24, around verse 30. Mm -hmm. And then it says... Uh, in that latter verse of 15, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. It says, Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. See, the Lord will like, get his, man. You know, he's going to hunt them like fishers. I mean, say hunt them like fishers. He gonna he gonna turn his elect into hunters, man, and hunt them. Right now we're in the fishing season. That's why we make these videos. That's why we go out on the highways and byways to try to get the elect and, and use the word of the Lord as bait. Mm -hmm. You know, all right, we want a certain type of uh, fish. You know, we want the Lord's elect, so we got to use the, His words as bait. You know, but he gonna turn those same fishers into hunters, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nah, nah. I had a quick pre though. Okay. Uh, this is Amos, Amos. 9, and eight. 9 and 8. Straight to the point. God. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, That's right. and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And that sinful kingdom is Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You know, now America is a, is, a, is a very sinful kingdom right yeah. in the modern time. Yeah. But at the time that scripture was written, it was, it was Israel. And the, Lord is still, the eyes of the Lord are still upon the sinful kingdom, man. Yeah. You know? And he is going to destroy it off the face of the earth. Yeah, now we could apply it to, to America. America, but, yeah. But really, like you said, it was Israel. Yeah, but pro 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 prophetically speaking, mm -hmm. it's America. Yeah. Because he's actually going to destroy America off the face of the earth. Facts. You know? Israel ain't going to be it. Israel was never destroyed off the face of the earth. Go on. It says... Saving, this is the point I want to... Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the third. Lord. Uh, that one third he's gonna deliver out of the north country, and, and for every from everywhere else he, from everywhere else that he scattered us. God. You keep going. There. It says, "Uh, kind." It says, "For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations." I will sift, man. All right. Like as a corn is sifted in a sieve. That's right, man. He's gonna sift. You know, like like you sift the corn in a sieve, like you sift uh, wheat from chaff from wheat. Mm -hmm. Like you sift diamonds from uh, from the dirt, you know. It says, "Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth." That's right. The Lord's not gonna let none of His elect, you know, get destroyed. Yeah, He's gonna get. That's why it goes into also um, 
the pair for the wheat and the tares. Wheat and the tares, yeah. <laughs> you know, you had the elect being uh, represented as the wheat, and then he's going to burn up the tares. That's right. You know, the wicked of our people, and also uh, the spiritual okay. uh, meaning you. behind it, the, the chocolate-covered okay. It's crazy. <laughs> Edomites. Uh, when you look at wheat and tear, you know, uh, or wheat and chaff, Tear look exactly like wheat, but it's not, <laughs> you know. But then chaff is the shell that's the outer shell that's surrounding the sea, <laughs> you know. So the Lord wants the the real, you know, mm -hmm. not the shell. You don't want the shell of a man. He wants you to be real, you know. It says uh, Amos nine and ten: All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, mm -hmm. which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Exactly, and that's that's and that's the point. You know, that's the point. You can stop at 11. God, it says, And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen mm -hmm. and close up the breaches thereof. Close up the breaches thereof, man. Raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. All right? And we, and we fell away, you know? But close up the breaches, man. Close up the uh, the gaps, you know? He delivered all of them. He said, Not the least grain shall fall upon earth. You know? The tabernacle of David was the elect. Mm -hmm. You know, the elect fell away. But now we're back, man, a servant of the Lord. In the land of our captivity. It says, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. That's what I'm symbolic of man. Man being bricks, you know, man being um, a building. The Lord's, gonna, the Lord's building the, the, the third temple, man, the elect, you know. But uh, that was about it. God. You ain't nothing else? No. All right, with that, the Lord willing, this lesson was at a time, but okay. again, we give all praise, all glory to. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. Alright, till next time, what's the shallow one? Shallow one.